like you said, there, there's legitimate medical uses for it. If a young, young child has a medical condition that it stops. But what are the long what are the long term impacts of uh, drugs like this that are used during the time of normal puberty? Right. So so sticking with with Lupron, because it is the most common puberty blocker used. Um, so it is FDA approved for use in precocious puberty for children. It's also FDA approved for use in treating um, prostate cancer in men and endometriosis in women. So, so based on studies with the FDA approved uses, we know that side effects include um, memory problems, very brittle bones, like we're talking some young women as young as age 20 having severe osteoporosis. Um, the memory problems have been seen both in women treated for endometriosis and men treated with prostate cancer. And what's most disturbing for young children who are healthy, so and that's what we have to understand is that these children who are confused about their gender, they're physically healthy. When we put them on puberty blockers at the ages of eight, nine uh, to 12, we're arresting their fertility. And if these gender confused kids are put on those blockers and then at that young age and then given um, the cross sex or sex change hormones, they're going to be infertile for life. And we are sterilizing children. The, these so-called gender affirming, they're not gender affirming doctors or therapists. They are transition affirming professionals and we're sterilizing children. Right, and that's that's why I used the term before, chemically castrate, because if you do it, it, if you do block yes. block sex hormones, and then ad, ad, in addition to that, add cross sex hormones, it does chemically castrate a child. Let me let me let me ask you one question though. So you mentioned it was that Lupron specifically is FDA approved for prostate cancer or precocious puberty or endometriosis, and obviously in grown women, is it FDA approved for uh, children with gender dysphoria? No. It is not. It is. There are absolutely no long term studies to establish safety or efficacy in physically healthy children with gender identity issues. They it, don't exist. Isn't, Those that studies a isn't that a medical, a, a medically ethical, a medical ethical um, issue then to use a drug that hasn't been approved by the FDA on uh, children where it has not been studied for purposes that it's not prescribed? Um, the American College of Pediatricians, the American Association of, of Physicians and Surgeons, and uh, as well as the Swedish Pediatric Society, the Royal College of Physicians in the UK, and the Royal College of Physicians in Australia have all raised that point. The point being, there is no long-term science. Therefore, this should not be promoted as a so-called standard of care.